let's get started with our Mexican molas picture. I have my black marker here I'm going to start with. I mean, you could start with the pencil marker or whatever you would like. So I'm going to draw a turtle. And it's going to be a very colorful picture. So I'm going to start with the shell. Keep in mind that a lot of the outside area, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be used with lines and color. So we want to keep some space around the outside. There's my shell. We're going to do one leg. It's almost like a square or a rectangle, right? This is a half circle. And we have like a square or a rectangle for the legs. And then we're going to come over here. Whoop, lost that. Put it right back on the top. There we go. Go like this. And they come down. There's my turtle's head. All right. Then I'm going to start to fill in the shell. Do another half circle here. Now I made a little mistake there, I see, but that's okay, I'm gonna work with that. Alright, I'm gonna make some more shapes there, and when they're filled in in color, they're gonna look beautiful. Alright, now I'm gonna come over here, and oh, we've got my table one. We gotta do the table. Turtles don't fly, so we gotta give it a table. So now I'm gonna start to fill in the colors. Now I'm gonna do a turtle eye here. Turtles watching. And then, <clears throat> I'm sorry, we're not gonna fill in the colors. We're gonna draw lines, more lines around it. Kinda outline it. Those will be filled in with color. See that? Let's see. I'll do another line for my table here. All right, and then I want to draw lines up here, but I'm going to draw different ones. I'm going to draw like squiggly lines. It's going to add more colorful lines. See that? Go like this. I'll outline it a little bit more. Alright, you see that? So that's my turtle. So now I'm going to draw the turtle. I'm going to use as many different colors as I can. So the turtle shell usually starts out with green or brown. I have a turtle at home. He's 20, I think he's 28 years old now. Turtles can live to be 80 years old. There's some big turtles that have been found in Africa and uh, places like that that have lived to be over 200 years old. But the one I have is called the Slider, and they live to be about 80 years old. So he's probably going to outlive me. But anyway, coloring. At this point, you should be coloring with me, having fun. I'm trying to go fast, but you don't have to go this fast. Alright, I'm still coloring. I'm trying to stay as neat as possible. See, I make some mistakes sometimes, but sometimes, oh, we'll keep that up. Sometimes the mistakes look good with the project. But that's okay. Oh, made a mistake, but that's alrighty. So I'm gonna come in here and I'll put some fantastic colors that are gonna make it stand out. I love the color orange, so let's go in with orange. I like to outline it first and then I'll go in. Love the color orange. All right. Let's come in with, ooh, yellow. Let's come up with yellow over here. And the whole thing about the Mola is all the fantastic colors. Um, I can have a, oh, let me do red. Do red here. And then to balance it out, I will do red on this side. Alrighty. 
here I'm going to do brown. So good. Now we want to start adding colors all over the place, right? Make it very colorful. So going around them, I'm going to use purple. You can move your paper when you're coloring. It's a little harder for me because I have to keep my paper straight. But I can change the angles of my arm. Yours, you can move the paper. Make it easier. Outside the line, but that's okay. Nothing's ever perfect. So you don't have to angle my arm. You could move your paper. Make it easier. All right. Love the color purple. Spots, go back and fix. All right, coming out great. Now we get to add some more colors. Oop, I must have a little bit of marker on my hand. That's okay. Um, let me come over here with yellow. side to balance it out right here another yellow over here on the outside let's see remember I'm coloring right really fast you can take your time and actually be a little bit neater than I am I don't want to bore you here to balance it out. That was messy. All right. So over here, I did make whoop, some mistakes. 
Let me get those back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and fix some of my mistakes. You can do the same, and tighten it up, make it a little bit neater. Make it stand out more. Alrighty. And then I have all this open space still. So, so since I have some time, I'm gonna take one of my favorite colors, I'm just gonna make lines. To make everything stand out. Wallace pictures are all about colors and lines. And if I still have time, then I'm going to get some more colors. Oh, I haven't used blue yet. We got to use blue. So we'll go in here. I can use blue. It's all about color. Blue. It's already a little bit of a boo boo there. But it's messed, these are class. We're allowed to make boo boos. Nobody's perfect. Colors. Yeah, no one here. We started one there. I didn't finish it. Do we have room for one more color? Let's see. Maybe to go around here. picture the more colors the better all right so there is my Mexican molas turtle um, I love it I love it I love it I love it but I'm thinking I need some more colors let's see let's color this in I think I need more colors skip ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and color all the rest of this in and, <clears throat> and then show you uh, the completed project when I'm done okay so I'll be back in a second hello I'm back so I just wanted to show you what my final project is this is my molas turtle Look at all the different colors I used, and I filled in all those patterns. I uh, had a lot of fun today. I hope you had fun too, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.